Hi out there, I'm AWAC. I'm Gamma Dev. And welcome back to our Let's Play video blogcast thing. And uh, this ex this uh, excursion is for Phoenix 3, which I kind of semi-sort of specially requested. Um, because I remember seeing various versions of this uh, in production. Uh, we got to, we got to, the, the, pe some people in the, um, the studio would bring uh, various revisions of this in and we'd, we'd play test them and report bugs and things like that. Uh, and this is also good because we can make tons of fun of the uh, very bad live action video. <laughs> we are a light wave render. We are the Corral. The, gra the Corral? All below is ours, all within is ours. Surrender your weapons at once, resist, and you will perish. Okay, one, two, <laughs> three. So if this is yours, why would you want to pockmark it right away? Is this like, or is that your. Yes, very epic. Um. <laughs> and he's very distraught. <laughs> it's Tia Carrera's steroid laden brother. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know who's in this. Or... I, I don't know either, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you can crank this down a little I'm just thinking because this came around the same time as uh, the Daedalus encounter with, you know, which was the giant FMV. Uh, uh huh. You know, starring Tia Carrera. We'll have to do that at some point. I, I that one expands so. four discs, that game. Wow. Yeah. Damn. And apparently a lot of disc swapping because they didn't think about it very well. Like, the hub no. is on a separate disc from everything else. So oh, it's like, yeah. So it's like, oh, go dear. to the hub, swap in a disc, exit the hub immediately, go to another disc. Yeah. And it's just like, you yeah. guys couldn't think to put the hub on all the discs or something. You know, how, like, how big can the hub be? Yeah. So is, is demo... It demos itself or is this... Well, you could fight. You're the one with the controller. All right, I got the controller. Let's find out. I'm going to decide. Gee, good thing there's three options, or you wouldn't know what uh, select was, right? It's like blue or gray, which is. <laughs> but I did see um, uh, there was. I did see there was the gentleman. I think you mentioned he did a um, a Twitch TV. Yes. Thing. He never got past this. He never got past these most, uh, platforming sections. Yeah. It? Most YouTube reviews I've seen never get past this section. They don't right. know that there's another section of this game. Yeah, and that's the section which I'm hoping we'll get to and be able to show off, which is the space flight section, which is pretty damn good. Yes. So hopefully we can. <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat the platformer. <laughs> I mean, this is such an odd choice to like have digitized characters in a platforming game and then have the rest of the graphics be much more cartoony. Mm -hmm. It's you know what I, I'm thinking. This reminds me of is like you remember the old there. Well, there's more than one, but there there was a show on Nickelodeon, which like they would green screen kids into pseudo video games. It was like basically sort of it was basically like Starcade minus the actual playing an arcade thing. Instead, they were sort of connect like put into it huh they would blue screen them and then they're like you know watching the monitors see like oh wave your hands and hit this oh jump over this and uh-huh it's like why are you so terrible at it? it's like well because they can't see anything they're not yeah. getting any immediate feedback you know i think it was i might have been called like nick arcade or something like huh. that yeah i don't remember i don't remember that I, well, not that i ever watched okay. much of nickelodeon you're gonna play it you yeah watch we're gonna play the uh, the wonderful fmv all right Bring us back. Oh, it was about to. Yeah, we've seen him already. Still Phoenix Three. I always thought this uh, soundtrack was just a little overwrought. Well, yeah. Um... Okay. All right, so let's go here. Let's see what. Let's see what kind of a mess we can make. Save two, game one. That's right. It has to make the difficulty easy, maybe. Sure. Or they just have normal and hard. Hard, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. cinema on, sure. SFX and music. I'm I'm sorely inclined to turn the music off. 1995. Now nah, we'll leave it on. Do you have any credits for this? Uh, it's too bad you can't mix them separately. Well, oh, you're well, looking it up. Well, 3DO could, but I mean, 3DO DSP could, but they decided not yeah, to. Yeah, it's just well, then it's again, the programmer okay. do it. <laughs> let me let me just say that though. Certainly. I worked on a game. Yeah. Multiple games. Yeah. And where we've had like sliders for everything, like here's for the dialogue, here's for the music, and here's, and then you get in this wonderful dilemma of like, well, what about during like a cutscene where you have dialogue and music already pre-mixed mm -hmm. because it's like a movie? Right. What do you do? What do you say? You know, do you take out the music altogether, or do you do? You know? Well, if it was pre-mixed, 
isn't it? Don't they preserve the tracks? Well, that's the whole point, though. It's like if so, they decide they want to turn off all the sound effects, but they want to hear the voice full volume. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they might complain because then you get the situation sometimes where the QA, mm -hmm. the testers, or even the first party will say, mm -hmm. uh, "Oh." there's a bug in here because we've turned off the music all the way but we can still hear music and it's like but it's you know we, yeah, that's we the gotta FMV, hear the voice it's not part of the game yeah but well what do you mean by music and, you know, yeah. and also worse you allow user music and all that stuff because mm -hmm. you have the ability to like lay your own soundtrack over the game's cheesy music then you just get to the whole <laughs> point of like why are we letting the end user mix the game they're gonna make a shitty decision. It's like letting the end. It's like letting the end user. Yeah, they are. It's like letting the end user um, uh, you say, know, you know, I don't like the cinematography in this. You know, you're not Janusz Kaminski I want to or do whatever. MTV shaky cam. <laughs> you're not Janusz. Well, <laughs> we've had ideas like that. <laughs> so if you're gonna do that, we should have something more like, don't let them mix the game, but maybe like, what style of music do you want? Uh -huh. Do you want the we're gonna telegraph everything in the game to you, uh -huh. or are we gonna like? go minimalist like Philip Glass mode or something like that. <laughs> um, Do you want Spring Loaded Cats on the soundtrack whenever a big scare is coming up or would you like a little more restraint? <laughs> is that the term for it? Spring Loaded Cats? Yeah. You never heard of that? <laughs> that comes from Alien I think. Okay. It's like, you know, it's like, oh we need a scare, just throw the cat across the screen. <laughs> uh, no, but it gets certain games, we'll start this game soon, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> certain games like, um, uh, what is it? Um, it's not Road Rash. It's uh, the the one from EA, uh, Burnout. Well, okay. Yeah, Burnout the, various, very, the, ver the various yes, yes, but it has, it's basically like you know random. Well, you have the radio station. Yeah, play right. of the radio station. Radio. And I've never been happy with the stuff that um, that EA selects for their stuff, and so I just shut it off. And it's like, well, now, if you had some nice thumping techno tracks, I'd be like, okay, well, sure. But that's a, well, that's a case of have the user user soundtrack. Uh -huh. Where it's like basically right. put your playlist, you know, on, mm -hmm. an, on a USB stick or mm -hmm. stream it. You can do that in your Xbox too. You can stream it from uh, mm -hmm. your NAS if you want. Okay. Didn't know you could do that, but you didn't know you could do that, but you can. And you put your own soundtrack. I do that in a lot of games where it's just like. But uh -huh. if it's a game that actually has a story and there's a soundtrack to the story, right? Yeah, racing is pretty much like replacing the soundtrack in Halo would be silly. Yeah. Right. But people still want to do it, and it's still mm -hmm. a feature, and you still got to support it. That was it. Okay. But then the problem's like, you know, like I said, mixing the game where it's just like, wow, this game isn't scary at all. It's like, well, yeah, if you turn down the, the tension music, it's probably not going to be as scary. So it's like, it's a questionable value in certain games to let the user uh -huh. do your end mixing for you as if he's like <laughs> Ben Burt or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see what this thing can do for us here. Sometimes the customer is not always right. Send yeah. another message. <laughs> you can cast many stones, Councillor Rand, but if the world has one dry, so has your wish. The Gra will attack if we don't surrender. Over my dead body. Clearly they're alien by their shiny outfits. <laughs> and she's not the least bit evil. Oh, hello. Damn right. What did the Gra want with us? We destroyed our weapons over a thousand years. Apparently our civilization exists in a black featureless void. A squadron of starfighters lies hidden in the catacombs deep under the old ruins. Not evil, not evil. Well, maybe it's the end of Insidious, where they're in the further. <laughs> Never mind, you haven't seen Insidious, okay. sorry. Ill-mannered farmhand. Get off my back, old man. <laughs> Five talons are activators needed to arm Hyperion. A weapon our ancestors hmm. created a long time ago. A farmhand? Hmm. Yeah. I demand possession of the talon. <laughs> the talon I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're on Comcast. Could you turn up your resolution, please? Let this serve as a warning. Maybe it's, maybe it's FaceTime on at and Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Got to do something. Remember where you are. Show some self-control. We're in a computer room. Jeez. That's why I asked you here. The growl want a war. Not even I'll give them one. And just how do you expect? Just make squat thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Slab bulkhead. Fuck plank chest. Stump junkman. Dirk hardpack. Rip steak face. Slate slab rock. Crud bone meal. Slate fist crunch. Buff hardback. Bob Johnson. Oh wait. <laughs> Slab hard buddy. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 40 of those. I haven't. Back to the cesspool they crawled out. Seriously, you know before every take there, this guy is down on the floor doing push-ups. <laughs> At least I won't die a coward. Do you in bench? I've <laughs> uh, got a little lift in there. <laughs> Do you in platform, dude? <laughs> 
here to give me my last rights, old man. Hello, who are you? I'm not that much older than you. What the hell? <laughs> I can't just call you ma'am. <laughs> I could say Dennis. It will help you find what you seek. And let me guess. This way, if I don't make it, and at least the truth about Hyperion will remain buried. We must go now. You need strength. You need courage. And you'll need this. It's dangerous to go alone. Here. <laughs> so he's a religious leader who also deals in uh, small wep small farms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where? Hmm. Where? Is I'm trying to think of it must game. be Texas. Okay, so now I got to figure. Out, <laughs> okay, so now I got to figure out the controls here. So, okay, so pushing up does nothing. Pushing down squats. Oh, and he stays squatted. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Getting some work out here. Okay. Over that. Only tea bagging. Okay. okay. Oh, stop it. All right. Okay. <laughs> A jumps to the shoulder. Oh. Is there a double jump or is there hold time for jumping? Uh, it looks like so. There's a. If you tap it, he jumps a little bit, and if you hold it down, he goes way up. Aha. Uh -huh. um, shoulder buttons don't appear to do anything. Great map. B shoots, and C throws the only grenade I have. Hmm. All right. Gray matter. Is that the same gray matter? Whoa. That later did id games? Uh, is that a gray matter? Wait, it's gray matter with an A. So it might not be the same. Oh, hi there. And I push up to get that. Alright, so what do we. Come over here. Oh, I think I made it mad. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Ow. Hey, parallax oh. rolling. Yes. I think I blowed him up. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I, I respect they tried to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you gotta watch that. That they tried to do, you know, a little bit more, but oh. they almost gave you, like, too many options in this, so it made the mm -hmm. controls kind of sluggish, because you could you can fire in all directions, and you can, uh -huh. you can lob grenades, and you can... You can steer in midair, that's nice. You can sort of Prince of Persia, Persian-ish the uh -huh. thing. <laughs> Alright. Up you go. Live action. Hello. Hello. Ah, all right. Oh, hi there. Have to shoot it again. All right. Oh, hi. Uh, maybe not. Oh my God. Look, it's Scott Walker. Yeah, there's really no there's really no good opportunity here, so let's see. Can I jump off that way? No. Apparently I can only drop. So basically it's a velociraptor mated with Giger's alien up there. Uh kinda looks that way. Oof. Well if you're gonna steal. That's a bad that's a bad choice of a very generic sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you you're gonna be hearing that one a lot. <laughs> an odd choice to do this digitize like this I mean if the background you mean, you mean, the, you mean the, the, the digitized actors or? yeah well didn't they do try and do something like this in uh, demolition Man? oh yeah they did but they also the backgrounds weren't quite as cartoonish in demolition Man. ah okay at least I, yeah. right, and so you know like that gotta... kind of made sense but also uh -huh. because it's you know it's a movie property mm-hmm uh, can you look around yeah you can't, not really. Or it's like holding one of the bit. buttons you can look around there. Very nice. You got that, yeah. <laughs> Do you, it looks like you, yeah, you heal, um, yeah, you just basically cower in a corner somewhere and you'll that heal. That might be easy. Ah! 
Yeah, you can you can grab the letters when you I fall. can if I'm lined up. But I'm not. Oh, stop it. Pest. I was trying to see what was over here. See, and again, this is all I would say this is a perfect example of making a bad first impression. Mm -hmm. The first several levels of this are this platforming game, which is not their strongest right. feature. So I appreciate them trying to do something to They're trying to be differentiate themselves from the normal platformer by, you know, do, with the whole digitized mm -hmm. actor thing. But then again, it's like they, they need a less cartoony art style for everything else. You know? All right, so it looks like if I go down here, squat and then... So yeah, using the power of the studio to have chunks of the objects come off. Yeah. Oh, you can't can you, shoot while jumping. Can you can you climb the ladder and shoot while on the uh, ladder? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. See, yeah, I'll give them points for thinking about these things, at least in implementing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, assume it's an alien planet, so gravity is a little you know, less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, in theory, you could uh, you could shoot down at a forty-five degree angle from the platform above and get those guys too. Uh, that's that's probably true. All right, so now uh, I have to go up this way. And at some point, you have grenades. You could also only get like three. I, I think I wasted my only grenade. No, it says you have seven grenades. That's what Where does it say that? The text said that. I think. Oh, okay. As you it was just scrolling by, although yeah, it would be nice if there was an indicator of that. No. Uh, yeah, lining up, lining your, up, lining up in the ladder is you a might, bit. You might want to let your. Yeah, he's not exactly uh, the Prince of Persia, is he? In terms no. of like, grabbing ladders in mid. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, end of section one. Oh, come on, guys! You got a little bit better than that. You're gonna get some uh, full motion video for your. Uh, um, yeah, let's we'll get him. You know, here? looking intent while walking through a. Uh, Wow, you have a great memory about this game. No, because I remember from the uh, the the Twitch TV oh. Let's Play. Ah, because I remember this part. So when he actually when he actually ends up on the ship, there's this other s silly bit of dialogue. Look intent at the screen. Yeah, Why did he get that t-shirt? Wait, did he have that t-shirt in the opening FMV for he, this level? I believe he did. Galarth, Galarth. Hello. Does he have it in his digitized form? It looks like he doesn't have that yellow T-shirt. He doesn't have the yellow T-shirt in, in his digitized form here. Ah, you, oh, you can shoot down diagonally yeah. off the. All right. Hey, shut up. Oh, that's not me. That's not you. Now you meet Ow. things. At least I got my health. health I got a full bag of health uh, entering this level. Okay, do I want to come down here and look at anything? Sit. And that's probably... It's also hard to tell, like, what's a... A kill me pit? Like, I'm pretty sure that... That looks like a... That does look like a kill me pit. Oops. Come on. Up. Grab it. Thank yeah. you. Alright. Up. Grab it. Thank you. Yeah. See, my immediate thought of this is like they should have made it so you don't have to like go up and then down to catch the mm -hmm. thing. You know, that, that, it would, that they actually could be smart enough to like grab it on the way up so that it doesn't. Uh... Oops. Wrong button. These are ammunition collected. Can you jump up? I believe I can. It's like, yeah, it's like they were inspired by Prince of Persia. Maybe a little bit mm -hmm. of flashback. Maybe a little bit of Out of This World. Mm -hmm. A lot of Mortal Kombat. Okay, I've got to time this right. Stop looking bored. Grenade. Okay. Use your grenade? No. Well, it went oh, down. Can you, well, you can aim up, right? Try to laser aim up and then grenade. Like at a 45. Ah. What's that? You it started, can aim up, it started right? walking. You can aim up at an angle, right? No. I no, tried. I mean, try shooting your grenade at an angle. No. Not That's what I tried. That's no, I'm... sorry, not the grenade. Shoot your laser at an angle. 45 degree angle. Can you do the same with your grenade? Uh, that's what I was trying earlier with the, uh, three, with the three that I wasted. All right, never mind. Uh, let's see. 
Hi there. You just hang out for a while. Yeah. Okay. Up. Oh, yuck. Okay, run away. Now he figures out he has auto fire. All right. <laughs> now, as I recall from the Let's Play, there's little things in the ceiling. Of course. Might want to aim up. <laughs> no. And there's one. one. Sit. All right. Yeah, that animation didn't look uh, come out too well. All right, where are we going? All right. Eesh. I see. All right, now. If you squat, does it show you down or anything? Or? Yeah, but I don't see anything to grab onto. You could try hanging off the edge and dropping down. Yeah. Okay, I only lost half my health there. I guess it's... Ah! Oh, you jerk! You can do the thing. Oh, he's too Shoot, keep shooting his feet. Just jump a little bit. Oh, dickweed. Oh. He's gonna climb. Oh, well, now he's figured it out that he can. Which I'll give him credit for that. That's pretty smart. That they can figure that out. That they have to climb. Certainly. Oh, so that's oh. That's a ladder. That was a ladder. So I could have grabbed on that on the way down. Huh. Sigh. All right. What's over here? No, but, uh, oh, excellent. Sadly. Yeah, they should make ladders very obvious that they're ladders. Actually, hang on a second. Or do you think it's the the lighting? I here? think I think it might be the brightness on the on the television. I've maybe I could crank the brightness in post, and you can see these ladders better. Do 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 do. Okay, which way? It's over here. Oh, that's uh, ammo. That's ammo, but you have to take. Uh, yeah, I have to take some damage for it. Well, let's jump, jump. Can you jump, jump in there at all? There, n not much. That's not enough space. Come on, come on. Ah! Can you fire up while you're in the room? Wait for it. Come on. You were looking up a moment ago. What's the matter with you? Why'd you change your mind? I can't get you over there, so yeah. Uh -huh, another ladder. Of course, it's a ladder, yes. Take our word for it. No. It's a teleportation ladder, okay. So yeah, it is. Oh, God. Did he change his clothes again? Okay. <laughs> Sweep it past the camera. Okay, now look at your uh, readout thingy. Look at your iPhone. Oh, oh, now we've got the laser. You just came from there. There's no way there's... <laughs> well, it could be the, you know, the, the wibbly blobbly things. Great. Ugh. Okay. I don't remember these guys at all. Nope. It's the NyQuil liquid caps guy. <laughs> <laughs> sure he's deadly, but my sinuses have never been clear. <laughs> Oh, jeez. 
Oh, Ooh. come on! Shoot at an angle, dude. No, no, no. Why? No, what are you doing? He can't shoot at an angle, so you, you shoot him at an angle. Don't line yourself up. <laughs> mm. Not hitting him at all. Stand? No. Why, why are you even on the ladder? Stand, sit down, crouch, shoot up at an angle. No. <laughs> what? Did you do? Ow. Come on. Seriously. Why are you doing this? Alright. There. Oh, great. <laughs> God bless it. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, go down one platform, shoot at an angle. I, well, I was, I thought I was shooting at an angle and not really getting any results. So. 45 degrees. Shoot. No, no, not on the ladder! Why is there a ladder? <laughs> Subscribe! I'm hitting... When the... he comes down... Yeah, see, I'm not seeing any evidence, and I'm almost out of ammo. Yeah, I don't You wanna think... try a grenade? Alright, let's see here. Oh, great. Apparently you can't throw a grenade whilst on the ladder. Really? Nah. So? Jeez. <laughs> what? I'm just walking into him now. It's like <laughs> go up, 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 oh, up. Oh, and you up, can't, up. can't throw a grenade on the, on the ladder. So, okay. So go up onto the platform, throw a grenade. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe he's indestructible? I guess they're indestructible. Of course. That would be a real dickish move, so why not? Oh, wow. He grabbed onto his uh, gelatinous corpse. Someone's gelatinous corpse. I think the, uh, the gelatinous rockets, cube uh... has evolved. Okay, now what? Uh, oh. You're in dodge. Up, up, up. Now a grenade would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Uh, any choice there? Yeah. Oh, wait, is there a thing in the wall? thing in the ceiling? Yes, there is! Yeah, but fire up. You should be able to get him. Use the tools at your disposal. Oh, okay. oh. Sigh. <coughs> okay, I have to start this level again. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. It's, uh, it's terribly, uh... Yeah. It's like Gumby has the flu or something. <laughs> A little runny today. You feel like... <laughs> no plasticine today. This is just like a dodge it and you can fire up. <laughs> All right. for the health to come back. Might be a good idea. Damn, those, damn, those things are like harsh. Can you crouch? Does that restore your health? I'm not sure if there it goes. Uh, so. It's really slow. <laughs> it's really slow. We'll be here for a while. It's really slow. Well, use the YouTube uh, speed up facility. We could pull a smash cut, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting impatient. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which is better, waiting out here or having to do the level over again? You make the call. Hmm. Alright. So you don't want to wait out? <laughs> so your health is a little... 
Remember, you got diagonal fire and guy coming up here. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you, you know, you could have just... He can't fire quite the same distance you can. Oh, man. And you're dead. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to just hang out here. <laughs> Actually, there's some health way down there. It's assuming I could get past the missile launchers. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. He, he's bored, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't move forward. Yeah. But fire at a 45 degree angle and see if you can it's, hit it. It's tough to, to get the firing going and not move. So. Alright. There we go. Of course, there's a uh, Giger down there. Giger alien sitting right there below you. Or is that. No, it's not. No, it's a. Uh, that says you can lob a grenade down there. If you back up a little uh, bit. I don't know. I think it'll go over him. If you back up a bit? Ah! Back up a bit? Okay. Oh, I see, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm out of grenades. Oh. Okay, well. Hit him when he walks away. There you go. Okay. Shoot him while he's got his back to you. Not now. Wonderful. Well, you know, you can jump and grab the ladder, so you can time the jump. Mm -hmm. Or just fall off the edge there at the right time. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. Another one. Oh, who is that? Hmm. Some. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Fire his feet, gentlemen. Health. There you go. Assuming he's the only one in there. Oh, ow, ow, Fire, ow. fire, fire, fire bad. Fire, yes. fire bad. There we go. Yay. Okay, that helped. Grab it. I'm trying. It. Oh, for <laughs> Pete's sake. I have to start this again. Yes, we know he's dead. Hello? Man, yeah, I can see why. Uh, First level, yeah. This, yeah, this. this like, At this point, the reviewers. Oh, thank you. That uh, makes my job much easier. <laughs> yeah, go team alien. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when your team members, uh, <laughs> the enemy team members, uh, mm -hmm. go after each other. Friendly enemy fire. I love it. It's like. A... Moby Games doesn't seem to list who the actors are. There's a live action. Oh, wait, there's cast. Derek Freeman. Oh, before Gordon Freeman? Let me see. <laughs> His brother, Derek. Tig Fong. Let's see, what else has he been in? He has two credits. Oh, Hanamusha Warlords. That's a fairly large game for Capcom. Mm hmm. What did he play? Oh. Tig Fong. Hmm. Let's see if IMDB has anything about Tig Fong. Mm -hmm. IMDB. Wow. wow, this thing auto completed that quick. I got IM out and it completed auto <laughs> completed IMDB. <laughs>
and turn around. His film credit is stunts for three, though. Even though he seems to have quite a bit of acting uh, in doing the movie. Oh, it says 3DO. Oh, three. Sorry, I misread that. 300 stunts. Mm. So he worked on 300. He worked on Silent Hill stunts, Resident Evil Apocalypse stunts, the Recruit stunts. So basically, he's a stunt guy. Full filmography. Act. Oh, wait, no. He's. Well, it says stunts 57 entries, actor 57 entries. Huh. Okay. 13 the series, Silent Hill, Cybergen, Aladdin and the Death Lamp. Hmm. I'm, I'm guessing some sci fi original TV movie or something. <laughs> Warehouse 13. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. One episode. Victor. That's kind of a fun show. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, I think it's gone. Is, or is it. Is that what's been ca One of those has been canceled. Zero. No, I'm thinking Eureka. But where else? Yeah, Warehouse 13. I think they got like one more season or something than that. Than they, what the? Oh, I'm so Incredible not. Hulk cop. I'm so not. 2008. So he played a cop in the Incredible Hulk movie. He was a lead security guard in Max Payne, the movie. Skinwalker, 16 Block, Kojak, Tilt, the Pacifier, Tarzan, the TV series. There was a TV series. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. dear. Yeah. Greystoke Guard. I think that was their attempt. I think that was like, you know, hey, I'm pretty sure it was a CW, like, uh, let's see if we can do Smallville, except with Tarzan kind of thing. Mutant X, Chasing Alice, Street Time, Adventure, Inc., Odyssey 5, Undercover Brother, Tracker, Anamusha Warlords. So he only, only has two video game credits, this and Anamusha Warlords. Hmm. Dracula 2000, playing Dax. He was in, oh, a, movie. He was in a movie called The Phoenix, playing a bouncer. Huh. Ironically. Recall, Total Recall 2070. That's a TV series. Universal Soldier 2, Brothers in Arms. Huh. Wasn't playing one of the Universal Soldiers, though, amazingly enough. He was just playing a biker. You could totally see him playing a Universal Soldier. Hmm. But yeah. played a biker. Moving Target for FX, the TV, FX, the series. I didn't know they had one of those. Um, Electra. Ah, I finally got some grenades. Playing Muscle Man. <laughs> so he's clearly been busy. Yeah. Tiger Claws. Oh. 1992. So before that, before I guess he got buff because it says he played a student. <laughs> oh, I think this is it. Ah, here we go. Yes. Red does not digitize well. No, it doesn't. Never has. Even when you, even without the compression. Yes. Now, is he wearing a different color shirt again? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Ooh. My God, it's full of CG. <laughs> they actually made one. For as late in the life of 3D as this was, I'm surprised the FMV does not look better in terms of the hmm. compression quality. It just looks very, very great. And again, it's all mm -hmm. dark stuff, which right. is like, but it looks worse than Shockwave, which is, it shouldn't. This no, is a shouldn't. couple years after Shockwave. Yeah. So. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Stand back. Who's that? <laughs> I am designated as three. You must provide the appropriate command access code. What code? You have precisely five seconds to identify yourself, or my self-destruct mechanism will be activated. Five, four, three... Whoa, wait a second! I was sent here. By whom? Counselor Ran. Oh, then you are the new overseer. And you're wasting time. <laughs> the surface is under attack. You are qualified to fly. It's series Dick Brother. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pump some random buttons there. 
Some random unlabeled buttons. I'm <laughs> yes, and a brand new. Uh, my programming prevents me from directly utilizing my offensive systems. Quit whining and There's just a phone cord draped in the back there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> of course, nowadays, kids probably wouldn't recognize what the hell that was. <laughs> Wires? What are those? Too bad if you think I don't measure up. But like it or not, I'm in command now. Brace yourself. I used to bullseye wop rats on my T-16 back home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who's Garage Band? Did they oh. did they hire for the soundtrack? <laughs> this would have sounded outdated in the nineties, by the way. This would this is definitely as, as I said. The, the, this, I this, this is definitely eighties <laughs> riff going. On. Target lights, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze a few bugs out of the system. Yeah. Squeeze off a few rounds. Work the bugs out of the system. Yeah. That's so a, here we go. That's a last Starfighter reference for those of you playing at home. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta remember what the controls are. No, there's also like a photon torpedo thing, right? One of your other buttons there. Yeah, the brightness is definitely not... Although, maybe we should turn off that lamp. Uh, you might see better. Uh, if you can reach it. Can we pause this? Hit the pause button, maybe? Ah. Oh, my gosh. They get, that's right. You get a 3D view of, uh, of the thing. Yeah. Hang, hang on. Enjoy this uh, test card for a second. <laughs> Smash cut. We're back. Um, yeah, cranking the brightness on the set really helps. Uh... <laughs> And yeah, they give you this nice little 3D grid of uh, what you're looking at. Well, so sort of. I mean, L prev next C mode. Well, like the opening to the black hole going on here right about now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the. Uh, Why is there a flat plane in space? It's kind of arbitrary. <laughs> it seems. To no, we're trying to illustrate the, uh, the. You know, they only ever use those in the ads. What? The 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 little the little black hole grid thing in the in the promos for the black hole. No, it's in the opening credits. Uh, no, that's right. You're right. I'm There's sorry. an overture. For like two and a half minutes of uh -huh. just, you know, nothing. Just except, flying over the grid, yeah. Well, no, no. There's two yeah. and a half minutes of just a star field not moving and mm -hmm. then the orchestra. Because that's the last movie I think to have an overture, that in Star Trek. Uh -huh. Then they have the actual title sequence, which is flying over the grid, which is like a mm -hmm. minute and a half vector graphic shot, which is the longest computer graphic shot in history at that point. Mm -hmm. right, so which, 19, 1979, not a big deal, really. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There are your photons. Definitely taken from Star Trek, the motion picture. The look and the sound, I'm pretty sure, are straight out of the motion picture. Okay, I'm totally lost in the controls. See, it's like, I'm surprised after testing this thing, they didn't say, let's just ditch the platformer. Mm -hmm. And go straight with, uh, you know, basically make a, a more arcadey version of Wing Commander, you know. Oh, there it is. Okay. See, here, the soundtrack works during this part. Mm -hmm. You would have, you know, you would have something like, you know, I don't know, Colony Wars or something like that. All right. Kill Throttle. There we go. Look, three-dimensional planets. Come back here. So, so lasers left apparently, shoulder is brake, so to speak. So lasers apparently don't travel at the speed of light. So no. is that <laughs> Oh, it's pushing me away from the planet, so... Speed match. Oh, that's right. You have that feature too, so you don't like over and under shoot your targets. You can match speed of whatever you've got on target. So if you're like behind somebody, you need to shoot them. That's mm -hmm. a, that's a problem you have in Wing Commander all the time, which is constantly having to change your thrust up because you're like you overshoot them. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Check your radar, dude. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming up on you. Ooh, 
Oof. I think I ruined it. <sighs> the blue screen of death there for a second. Uh, literally. Okay. Does auto fire work? This is probably right. not the best way to destroy your enemies by running into them. Uh, okay. Pull back. Come on, it's approaching. There you go. Jeez, how many of these? Does that auto fire? Please. What are the range of those? Come on, what do you have? What do you need? Now there we go. Oh. Sigh. All right, going too fast. Technology. What does that mean? I think you're supposed to pick it up. Not destroy it, maybe. Right. If I was to guess. Oh, all right. New weapon. Ah. Ooh. Dual wielding. Aha. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see about you. Ooh. The gun probably heats up much faster. Oh, are you supposed to use the uh, the crosshair? It's like the gauge where to hit him, like delete him or whatever. I imagine so. Oh, seems to believe. Oh. Oh, now it says it's in range. Okay, so that's right. A, put it on the little X there. And... Great. Yes, shields. Well, at least that indicates you're actually hitting him, as opposed to before, so... See, that's the case where I think you want to, like, engage the speed match thing. It's like, at this point. Or you could cheat in your two You're heat-seeking missiles, okay. <laughs> Five, four, three... Whoa, what was that? There's somebody hell? shooting. I'm guessing that's somebody shooting at you, who's behind you. So you might want to, uh. like that guy. You know, that'd be that'd be my guess. Okay, so missile track. I assume that means somebody has a missile track on you. I don't think you're in range. I think that's the deal. Not here. There you go. So yeah, these Talon. Hmm. Missile. Yay. Do you have any check? <laughs> See, again, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's the case you want to. Do you know how to engage speed match? No, I don't. Is that maybe like the stop button or something? Is it like one of the lesser used buttons? Or This is much more uh, engaging than that that crazy platformer. Woohoo! Chunks of stuff. New weapon. 
You must have, you must, no, it said, I, I assume that means you must have picked it up when oh. it exploded. So, another interesting aspect, I guess. Picking up weapons and shit. Mine. It says mine times ten. So I guess mm. you can, if somebody's behind you, I guess. Ow. No, that's not how you use a mine. You don't, no. have to. <laughs> don't run into it. What was that? Uh, something you can now run into yourself because the way he's. <laughs> Oh, he's firing like little bursty things. It's kind of that's the closest one, really. Got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. He's a thousand whatever away. A thousand, a thousand units of some sort. The Kessel Run in twelve parsecs. Run Battlestar, the original Battlestar Collector would say, uh, "Closing twelve microns, ten microns." Yeah. It's like, oh shit, they're <laughs> <laughs> right on top of us. It's like, didn't somebody look up, you know? <laughs> Speaking of bad dialogue choices, speaking of black hole, remember the line, searching for inhabitable life? Remember that? <laughs> Their mission is the same as our. To search for inhabitable life. It's like, what are you, a fucking parasite? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like, seriously, you wanted to be taken, you wanted to be taken serious at having a science fiction movie. And nobody, during all the, like, the first yeah, table read didn't readings, go, yeah. inhabitable life. Really? Okay. <laughs> I saw they had tech consultants on that movie in the credits, and it's like, really? You didn't have some high school science teacher who goes, uh, point of order. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Wow. I don't remember them being that many goodies uh, yeah, well, during during testing. Is there, is there some? Yeah, I don't remember there being. I played this too. I don't remember there being that many. I'm just wondering if is there like a like a generator that's creating these things that you had to destroy instead? Although it looks like you're certainly thinning out the radar. Aha. <laughs> okay, the in-game graphics were better. Yeah. Than oh, that. great. Yeah, this cutscene. Done. We have reached the jump point. You did it, Alex. Downloading oh. coordinates from a beacon satellite. You will have to select a destination. At this distance, the signals are too weak to make a positive identification. Okay, literally, that's an adding machine. I have assembled a probability rating for all jump points accessible from this location. Do you wish to see the list? Shoot. Take me uh, to the wait, place. that was a bad choice of words. Gal Sol. Mm. Yeah, Gal Earth, Gal Sol. All right. Okay, take me to the place that doesn't require I go to that fucking platform. <laughs> no, they all do that, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's see. Previous. What? Oh. The last starfighter is. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm like, the left. It says L and R for left and next, but when I. Uh... Previous, next, L, R. X, okay. L, X, R. X, L? Left and right. No, left and right. Right, so left. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. No, I'm hitting left and right on the pad. <laughs> uh, Hold and down X and then R. There is no X. This is a 3DO pad. <laughs> uh, extra left, extra right. D left, D left, D right. I mean, talking about the D pad. Um... Left, right, left, right, left, right. No, not on the D-pad. Uh, a is jump. But we're already at Gal Sol. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, previous, right? So you yeah. got left, right, previous, right? Mm -hmm. Damage options, right? Mm. Yoke up, yoke down, normal. Okay, so yeah, okay, a, so uh, so so it's not just me. No, it's you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, game options, maybe? Hey. Sound effects volume. Oh. Okay, so we, we, so we could uh, nerf the music uh, a little bit more if we wanted to. And you can turn off the cinemas, that's too. Is there any, like, don't uh -huh. play the damn platforming game? Um, let's see. Shields, game. Okay, load, restart. Yeah, let's. 
So now just is there a in... save option? That's a... <laughs> Damage? No? So, yeah, so we got that. All right. So, A, jump. We're already there, right? Uh-huh. And X, L, R. The, 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 the stop and play buttons? No? We have a zillion buttons on this controller I mean, uh -huh. that we don't need to use. So what is... Oh, is it like you have to like hold down one of these or something? You have to cord it. Wow. Jump. Okay. Cross L and cross R star. Cross. What do they mean by that? Do they mean D-pad? I mean, do they really mean D-pad on that? Hit. At, well, oh, man. I am so hitting why? the D-pad. and That zooms in and out. Left, right, in, out. Seriously. We have game options. We have the ship. Mm -hmm. And pilots found none. We gotta find you pilots. Have to, you have to you have to pick up pilots to System. complete the ship. Okay. All right. Let me say let me say that again. <laughs> this thing doesn't require two controllers or something. All right. Like, so let's see. Like it's Raiders of the Lost Ark on the twenty six hundred or something. All right. There aren't many other. Uh, um, wait, hold left, right, and then, like, the D-pad, sorry. Hold the D-pad left, wait, go back to the thing. Okay. Hold the D-pad yeah. left or right, and then hit one of your shift buttons. Nope. Yep. Same thing. It's not like you don't have an abundance of buttons here. Right. <laughs> that they could use. Okay, stop button doesn't work. The play pause button doesn't do anything. Um, cording, like that doesn't work. Let's see. B, hold down, there's it. Wow. <laughs> All right. <hold> on. <laughs> I mean, you have full, full, full points for putting a, a UI guide in the lower left corner, but minus several million for it not meaning anything. X. Wait. Oh, hang on. X apparently is the stop button. Yeah. All right. So X, L doesn't work either x right yeah x or x l ah uh, oh wow clam drops is that an inside joke to uh i don't know all right spica clam drop that's a that's like one of those unreleased three it houses huh? clam drops i don't know i don't I remember. believe it is i believe it is a... captain x1 kept procyon so you have to hold down and then, so you have to hold down the stop button, right? Uh-huh. Hold, yeah, you have to hold down the stop button and then hit the left or right um, uh, shoulder buttons. The shoulder Aldebaran, button. which is misspelled. Yeah, uh, I kind of really can't figure that out. <laughs> Sirius, Wolf 359. Oh, hello, Borg. Uh, Clam Trops. Is, this, those Centauri. guys must have worked on that game that never Betelgeuse. got released. Uh, Plan, Escape from Planet Clam Trops or something okay, like so that. Okay, so do you, do you see one you like? you have a favorite? I don't, I don't think it really matters. Is that like Alderaan, except it's all buried around? It's, it's just <laughs> enough not to get sued by Lucas? Is that basically what that is? It's, I think they just misspelled Aldebaran. But. All right. <laughs> Wormhole! Growl ships detected. Let's see? Let me look up climb drops. I'm pretty sure that's an unreleased 3 d title. Yep. 3 d Escape from Planet Clam Drops, unreleased. Oh, okay. There's even a YouTube video of it. You will have to link. Into the Growl thing. Battle 2064-08. Okay, pull back. I wonder if that was... It must have been a Grey Matter game, or... Ah! Smeggity smeg smeg. Can I... How do I switch targets? Enemy ships are approaching. Yo, you think? Grey Matter, yep. Grey Matter presents Escape from Planet Clam Trops. I'm guessing because this wasn't a hit, they didn't bother with. Uh... Mm. Okay, well, is there some reason that, that started up? <laughs> no, it's a YouTube video of the 
gameplay of Escape from Planet Clamtrops, and I guess for their temp thing, they decided to use the most copyrighted piece of music they could find. <laughs> Which, why is it on still on YouTube, then, I guess is the question. I'm yeah, surprised that, well, then again, I guess Lucas is actually not very litigious about YouTube videos. Hmm, really? Yeah, the Phantom Edit is still up on YouTube videos, so... <laughs> He's he's got a really well. First of all, now he's got three. Was it three point oh five billion dollars or something? <laughs> ah, that's how you switch. All right, all right. Scout, scout. Show me a dangerous thing. Lee. Or uh, the sale of uh, all of his properties. Because uh, I remember somebody said it's like three point oh five billion dollars. That's lame. If they have to they have to say three point oh five billion dollars, and somebody said you realize that's an extra fifty million dollars. <laughs> Would you sneeze at that amount of money? It's not a significant amount of money. <laughs> Although somebody had speculated that, uh, oh, this looks like an interesting game. I'll have to uh, actually I have the link to it. Okay, this is okay. And you, you jerks are all flying in behind me. Hey, but at least you get more three D space stuff before you have to deal with the. Uh, hey, look at there. Off to the left. <laughs> You can see the Rebel Alliance regrouping after their <laughs> battle on Hoth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, great. They've become clever. Clever girl. So, yeah, so. so we figure out how to invoke these speed match then yet? No, not yet. Is that in your uh, little magic? Uh... Ow. Yes, thanks, three. Ah, why am I going so damn fast? I didn't set the throttle that high. All right, come here. Did I get it? Who's this? Who's this oh, man, let me pull up the old PDF. Oh, it's a, it's a mine. Mine? 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 <laughs> mine? <laughs> How big is this manual? Jesus. Oh, fast. I don't have a new phone. I don't have my uh, I don't have my PDF software installed on this new phone. I'll have to use the Kindle reader to read. <laughs> okay, somebody didn't. Ah, uh, game controls. Here we go. They literally. Oh, this is the lamest game controls ever. They literally just reiterate what is on the control pad. A button. A button. B button. Uh. button. Your phone volume. Play. Yes. You, why? 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 Oh, here we go. Spaceship. Reduce throttle, left shift. Increase yeah. throttle, right shift. Left plus right shift button, match target speed. Oh, uh, okay. Target must be moving. Good choice. <laughs> Duh! So, like, technology is probably not one you could do a match speed on, but your other yeah. one you could. So, left plus right shift. That makes sense. Come here. Come here. Stop button. Target closest radar contact. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Mine? 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 So try the stop button. This targets your closest. Uh... Alright. Yeah. Wow. It's the interweb right is great. Like I said, I do have the full box and instruction for this at home, but mm -hmm. I keep those in a bunch of sterile -like containers, whereas I keep the mm -hmm. discs out for mm -hmm. easy access so we can do stuff like this at mm -hmm. a moment's notice. Come on. Like when somebody goes to Ikea, for instance. <laughs> ah! Stop it. Come here. You want to. Good job. Ta -da. Oh, A plus D-pad left All and clear. right rolls you left and right. What rolls you left and right? A plus D-pad left and right rolls you left and right. Oh. A plus D-pad up, scan target. Maybe we missed something back there. Not likely. B fire weapons, C select weapon from those available. Uh, 
X, I guess that means stop. Oh, here they have. So the first time they use the X button, mm-hmm. they actually say stop in parentheses. Yes. X plus left and right shift buttons cycle through radar contacts. Ah, all right. So apparently if you go to a star and there was nothing there, there was just nothing there. So I go to Clam Trops. Okay. Since that's a game they actually were in production on, so I, ma- I imagine they would put something important there, or at least an Easter egg. <laughs> like maybe maybe they've got a playable version of the game in there. I don't know. I want <laughs> actually I wonder about that. Maybe because I, I wonder where that YouTube video came from with the gameplay. Maybe the, they just threw a video on there. It's like if you f- pick up a piece of technology around the planet. Wormhole. I like they didn't have oodles of space on the disc. And... Ooh, it's a very colorful oh, wormhole. DS Nine. I was thinking more like Babylon 5 there for yeah. a second, but okay. These are the voyages of Babylon 5. <laughs> a Talon must be in the vicinity. Anybody around? On the lowest level of the outpost. Can we dock near there? This came out the same year as that DMST movie, didn't it? Very close. <laughs> okay. You might want to slow down there. Before. Yeah. <laughs> same docking bay as in. See? Thought you were something important there. Open up this tin can, three. I could use a breath of fresh air. Time to get some quad workout in. Yeah. <laughs> you have to open the doors by hand like I did last time. Oh, wait, there's no atmosphere. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there's not any air. How do you know? What's It's an alien space station. Uh, they, they could breathe methane for all you know. <laughs> White Star Outpost. Ah. Oh, great. Right. Lens flares, people. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they don't understand what a lens flare is supposed to do, which is namely attracts the camera, so the fact that it's baked into that background is a bad idea. <laughs> I just voided its warranty. Jesus. Whoa, there we go. You know, this... I would say this was... Uh, like the lights that were off from episode one, except this is predates that by about three or four years. So. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, nice graphics, except for lens flares don't work that way, people. Yeah. <laughs> They're inside the camera. You can't paint them into the background. Oh, no. Oh, I remember these guys now. So. All these wonderful, clean, oh, geez, officious dead. robots, uh, yeah. and they didn't bother to kill the, the frickin' uh, cockroaches, acid-laying cockroaches in there. You think all the time they've had in the world in the spaceship, they would have gotten around to, like, maybe we should get rid of those cockroaches. <laughs> Set out a few bug bombs somewhere. Since we got nothing Neither. better to do. <laughs> Other than, you know, waiting around for, you know, to be cast in a Will Smith movie. I mean, oh... <laughs> Bamf. I did not murder him. The three laws of robotics. <laughs> <laughs> Again, predates. That. Ah! Oh, jeez. Hey, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> there. Anything else? Well, this just got a whole lot less interesting. Uh, you need to like heal up or something. Like yeah, that. awful lot of meat in the <laughs> in the future. In those, uh, those insects with exoskeletons. Oh, well, is this wait. a this is a missile launcher? Is that a missile launcher or a weapon? No, it's a new weapon. Oh, it's a new weapon. All right, maybe, maybe. All right, what's over here? Mine. Nothing. Mine. All right. Can you jump? Wait a minute. The perspective. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's the uh, medical examiner from... <laughs> the interrogator droid? Or the interrogation droid? Yeah, so interrogation Dr. Ball, droid. Or yes. Dr. Ball, if you're a robot chicken fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there a room there? I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I said good day, sir. She's lost the will to live. Why don't you? <laughs> Why don't you get? Come on. Why don't you get your here. medical degree? Oh, don't use the billions of dollars of medical equipment around her to try and save her. No, she's lost the will to live. What? 
Dr. Ball, MD, for Pete's sake. It fell down again. Can I get back up? No, you can't jump that high. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Plateau Verada Nicto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, grab it. No, you can't jump through there. That's a wall. That's on the other side of a wall. That's correct. It? So, well, so, but you can go to the right there, can't you? Well, there's there's nothing there. Oh, well, what? So that's an odd place for a ledge. I think you might want to shoot him. <laughs> Doctor Bolt. Oh, that's just that's just a decoration on the wall. Right. You can tell that's expensive CG because it's shiny. What are these things do you need? All right, is that a force field or is that? You have to wait for it. Yeah, I think you have to wait for it to not glow. To Otherwise not be. It will hurt uh, you. Well, it really heals you. Ha ha. <laughs> I guess you have to jump on the ladder. All right. Let's watch this a little bit more. Wait. <laughs> Ow. Early Roomba experiments. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. Look over here. Hi there. You're going to poke you with the stick if he gets close to you? That a futuristic cattle prod, though. All right, what's over here? Nothing. Answer. Ha. <laughs> For something with an exoskeleton has bones, that's the other thing you don't quite get. <laughs> this random elevator. Mm -hmm. Can you jump off onto that? Yeah, okay. I'm wondering that myself. We got um, oh. Dr. Ball here. Whoops. No, not really. <laughs> I, I, I think it's a, a bit of timing there. Yay. This is kind of in Yay. the not worth ammo. it category. Yes. Well, you are low on ammo. Go for it. Pew, pew, pew. So like what's decoration and what's actually uh I heard that. Is that above me? Is that thing in the wall doing anything? Like can you like shoot it what, this? push up or something? This red thing? Yeah. There okay. doesn't appear to be It's just an odd bit of wall decoration for something that doesn't actually do anything. Like, like you shoot it and like stuff opens up. Or Destroy him, my robot. Oh yeah, I guess this is kind of like an ah, impossible damn. mission. Without the tight jumping controls. Yeah. <laughs> what yes. was this thing on the wall here that yeah. looks important? Six? Is that a... Ah? See, See it's hard, like I said, it's hard to tell like, what's useful when it's just yeah. wallpaper. Is this where I get the gun? So, or is this where I should have been? So the... It is! So the 20th anniversary? Bolt gun. Yes, the 20th anniversary of the 3DO. Is what, this month? The, I think it was a couple days ago. Yeah, this month. October 4th. Oh, really? Dun, dun, dun. I don't need that yet, so I'm not going to waste it. Splat. <laughs> no, 
Oh, it's ammo that I need now. This... Yes. All you game designers out there, do not put the boring sections of your game first. <laughs> The boring, tedious parts of your game first. It's also kind of weird they decided to put two different styles of game like mm -hmm. together after the roaring success of Jurassic Park Interactive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to. I think you have to duck. Run away, run away. Oh, you, oh, you're out of... You're out of I'm out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Grenade or something. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Expecto Bertonum. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's... <laughs> lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Start lobbing. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, you... There's gotta be something there, though. I think you can feed. You can hit him yeah, without hitting him. Got another one. They usually, they usually travel in pairs. So before you go down there, is there anything off to the? Was there anything off to the left before, on the other, not there, but I mean up above, there was a left? There was? Yeah. I believe there was. Jump. He's just taking a stroll. Oh, nope. sorry, my mistake. I don't know why they have those, those weird ass ledges there. I mean, it's like, that's just the way their tile set works out for uh, building okay. up the levels. Yes, there's a big health pack on the other end of that thing. Look, yeah, transparent was... fire. Yeah, through the tr power translucent. Of, yeah, the power, power of, of the pimpulator. Oh, yeah, right. Yes, there's the force field. So there's must be something. Rainbow power. I wish you can shoot through it though. So. Oh. Okay, but it does hurt you. Okay, that, we've established that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What's down here? Oh, oh, there we go. Yikes! Nope. No, I'm dead. <sighs> All right. My how ankles. Much, how much? My <laughs> ankles. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh look, he's got somebody speared red jam on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he bleeding through his outpost part two? Well, we're you know because we got through the, I got through the first part, so this has been a, uh, an hour. Okay, um, but at least we got through the space part, which is the part that nobody ever sees. Space, space. space. I'm in space. Got to see it all. <laughs> oh god, I'll, I'll tell you after the podcast. <laughs> so, but. Uh, Thank you very kindly for joining us. Uh, as, as I actually enjoyed going through this again because uh, this is... I, I don't think I ever actually played the final, final version. Um, but uh, So it's nice to see just, just like where all the warts are. But thank you all very kindly for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, anyway, got that out of my system. <laughs> Roll Fizzlebee. <laughs>